which supermarket has the best fresh food? Is it an American supermarket like Amazon? Or is it a Hispanic supermarket like that? Or an Asian market like Ranch Market? Let's start off with Amazon, come on. Let's see what they got. Deep brisket screams American. Oh, it's hot too, sweet. Oh yeah. Okay, I wanna do uh, the roasted pork loin. We put some uh, gravy on there. The maple bacon Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Kale and spinach. Okay, I'll get that. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yeah. All right, we got our American lunch. Let's go try it. So representing American supermarkets, I have Amazon. I just figured Jeff Bezos is a good representation of America and what we want to be successful. So with Amazon, we already know their food is really delicious here at Amazon, yeah. but we've never quite had this exact hot meal. I'm so, looking forward to the sandwich. I am looking forward to the whole damn thing. So first, before we get into the sandwich, let's try our hot plate. Going straight. I will say though, the pork looks a little bit dry. It looked dry as hell. When as she was cutting, was cutting it. it, man, it looked like she needed like an electric chainsaw to get through that. Mmm. Mm. It's not dry. Not as dry as I was gonna think. But the gravy really does save this one. It definitely ain't tasting like your grandma made it with a lot of love in the back. No. Like when we go to the Mexican supermarket, that's what you're gonna have to worry about because their competition, they put the love in the food. The next thing that caught my eye was this bacon Brussels sprouts combination. I think it even has maple syrup mm. in it because it was the maple bacon. Mm. The Brussels sprouts are not good. They're like steamed, mm -hmm. but the bacon. Bacon's fire. The bacon is unreal. Mm. Brussels sprouts, they need a different kind of seasoning or something on Man, it. Man, what is this, like spinach and kale something? This is what Popeye eats before he beats up Brutus. So let's try it. Ooh. America. Mmm! Muscles engaging. Oh, that's really good. That's actually pretty tasty. <laughs> I kinda wanna dip, like make a little sandwich. Oh, that was my piece of pork. Mm. Is that the way to do it? Mm. All right. It's proteiny. It's gravy. Mm. <laughs> Next thing we have here is the beef brisket, man. It looks good. It's Hot on, and ready. It's on sourdough bread. This is what face up should have been on. But you, you know it ain't. So we're gonna rip this thing in half. Look at the cut apart. Oh. It was all right. It was all right. It's got oh, pickles, pickles inside, pickles which is interesting. Cheese. Is there any sauce? You got red onions in there. It doesn't look like there's a sauce, but let's try it. It does have a little bit of sauce in there. I don't like the pickles on it though. I don't know, the meat's actually really good for this just being a little heat up meal for seven bucks. It's actually pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of this one, I won't lie. I don't really care for the sauce. I don't think you get that much meat inside of here though. That's the only negative side. The sauce is a little bit weird, but I think for what it is being a $6 warm sandwich, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I will say this hot plate is the way to go though. This one's super oily. So far, American markets, delicious. But let's go see another supermarket, perhaps a Mexican supermarket. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Let's go. Come on, let's go check out a Mexican supermarket. Wow, they have so much food here. This is gonna be a nice choices. Come on. Yeah, it looks like El Puerto Loco. Okay, so this this market has a lot more food options than the American supermarket, which I love, and their food looks a lot better already. So let's order up a plate and maybe a burrito, and let's go try this. Sure. So the chilaquiles will be like our hot plate, which is equivalent to our American supermarket, and it, then the burrito is kind of like a sandwich. Oh my god, this looks incredible. This looks like it came straight out of a restaurant. I know restaurants that I order this from that doesn't even look as good as this. No, 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 no. The burrito no. is thick. They're not messing around at all. So honestly, these Hispanic supermarkets, just by the look alone, already look better than yeah, the American supermarkets. They can get it. And we got some cervezas because why not? Cervezas to accompany the meal. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, papi. Long live Mexico, viva los mexicanos, por vida hasta la muerte. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, wow, that thing is packing. You know it's packing when they can't even close the damn thing. Ooh-wee, that looks good, honestly. Oh my god, man, that thing is stuffed. Oh! oh that 
looks good, man. And they hooked it up there. It literally does feel like a whole like Mexican restaurant, the way they have it all set up there. They give you salsas, they give you lemons, limes, whatever. They can ask for chips. Let's just go for it. All right, my friend, let's see. So this is equivalent to the American sandwich that we had, except in Latin, it's burrito. So here we go. Cheers, my friend. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. This might be my new burrito spot. Honestly, this is a really good burrito. The one thing that I can compare to the American supermarket so far is that this tastes like it's coming out of a restaurant, not a supermarket. Everything that we ate at the other supermarket felt like it was coming from a supermarket. Yeah. It was still good, but it just it tasted like supermarket food. This tastes like a restaurant. It's because this, they make their tortillas in house. They make they everything, make everything in house. fresh at that yeah, so supermarket. It's like, it's like, how can you not make it to top quality? Literally, probably a better burrito than you can get at restaurants. Yeah. Damn. It, this is better than our burrito restaurant. And it's cheaper. Eight bucks. Oh, wow. You're only supposed to have a bite. Man, I mean, this whole damn thing. Fucking scrumptious. Oh my god. Oh, mm. I forgot to hit record. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm getting, but I just want another one. Let's go get another one. Mm, man. So fing good. Honestly, mm. Mexican markets don't even compare to American markets. That was so much better. And that's only our second market. We still got an Asian market to try. But we're not done with our Mexican market. Let's check out our next dish, which is the chilequiles, my favorite Mexican dish. It combines breakfast with snacks and lunch with the rice and beans. The snacks are the chips that are underneath these eggs. Man, this dish goes so hard. This dish is comparable to the Amazon one that we just had. Yes, this is their hot plate with rice, beans, and the chilaquiles. The only thing that I see a lot of that I'm not liking is this crema some young guy. Yeah. It, is, it looks overpowering, so I think we should try to wipe a little bit off. Yeah, I agree. So we removed all that excess crema, and now it's looking like the chilaquiles that I love. So let's dig in, my friend. Let's try it. It yeah. already has the green salsa mixed in. We're good to go. The thing about this compared to Amazon is the girl was cooking it. We waited 11 minutes for it to come up, so it's not like hot and fresh and ready. It's like they're making they're it. They're making like, it. As if it's a restaurant. Right. So, you know it's gonna be fire. Right, and if you think about the Amazon one, you saw her just pull out that big chunk, chop it up, get you your sides. Like, it was already pre-made. So, oh, look how cheesy that is. There you uh, go. Lactose intolerant. Pick up the merch, by the way, BrennanTaylor.com. We do this for you guys. If you buy a shirt, you're supporting the channel and supporting the movement. All right, I'm not waiting. Ow. Oh, um. oh my no god. No way. No puedes. No. No que puedes. This is better than un prostitutas. This is like actual restaurant quality food. It's not like a supermarket. This is amazing. I will say the tortilla chips are not like crunchy like we're used to. They're more but like tortillas, like actual tortillas in yeah, there. They didn't Soft like fry them. Yeah. They didn't fry them. They but it's them. not bad. No, it's really good. I don't even know if we need to do another one. I found the winner. <laughs> no. I mean, look, this is really delicious, but we have one more supermarket to hit. The Asian supermarket. Let's see how they compare, and maybe everyone is better than America. Yeah. We'll find out. Come on. Let's get on in there and let's go try some Asian food. Come on. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. Asian kitchen, you can get fresh duck. <laughs> Why have we been fucking around with American mm -hmm. supermarkets this whole time? Mm -hmm. We gotta get cultural. Yeah. A whole, whole duck for 30 bucks. This is incredible. Three items for $9.99, this is great prices. Like you're better off going to supermarkets and getting that type of food than you are going to like actual restaurants. And that's what I've realized after eating these three supermarkets today. The three item combo, please. Three items, do you like a steam rice? Uh, no, but I'll do the, the chow mein noodles. Uh, uh, Kung Pao chicken, please. Two words chicken. Chicken? <laughs> that's all, please. Maybe an egg roll? Yeah, if you wanna get it. What is this thing? <laughs> we got the food, now let's find somewhere where we can eat it. All right, so we're back from the Asian market. They actually hooked us up there and gave us a couple things for free, which is this vegetable soup. Awesome, gotta yeah. love the Asian hospitality. It looks like it's just broth, but. It might be, honestly. We got what is exactly equivalent at the American supermarket and the Hispanic supermarket. We got a hot plate and what is kind of like a burrito slash sandwich, but it's a chicken egg roll. Yeah, we also ordered a, a steamed bun. And that's, a steamed that's bun. That's the extra one, because we had to We try. needed something different, you know? We like oh. these buns, we really do. We've eaten them in Vietnam and we wanted to try it here in this market. So, 
I think to start off first, let's start with our main plane. Wow, it honestly looks very presentable. It, it kind of looks like an express, but better. Yeah, that smells so good, smell that. Mm. Let's try it, I'm gonna start with the orange chicken. It's classic. It's soft. It is really soft. So the thing about this is like in, at Pan Express, it's like fried chicken. This yeah. It's like almost fresh with coconut. It almost feels like that, let's, let's try it. Mmm. Pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong. I've definitely had Asian restaurants that have better orange chicken, but it's kind of equivalent to like Panda Express. Mm -hmm. Like it's equivalent to like fast food. It's a nice healthier version of Panda. Going for this other one. Will we get Kung Pao? Kung Pao. I will say their silverware sucks. Oh. Yeah, well this isn't silverware. This is a spork. Good for any occasion. Let's try Cheers. the Kung Pao. Mmm. Mm. That's way better. That's fire. I'm gonna get a real utensil. The Kung Pao chicken's a hundred times better than the orange chicken, but let's try the chow mein. Honestly, slightly mediocre plate. I won't lie. The flavors yeah. aren't much there. There wasn't like love put into it. It was all made it was to be already yeah. ready. It was just kind of like the same thing as the American market. It's been sitting there. Who knows when they cooked it? Um, it's it's decent. But it does it tastes like glorified fast food. It doesn't taste like it was like a restaurant made like the Hispanic market that we went to. No, but we let's continue through. Let's just let's let's keep trying before everything. Before we else. give our full thing. You wanna try the try you just give the soup yeah, a go? You go for the soup. It tastes like water. I think it might be for our hands, maybe to wash. I think we should have washed our hands with it. <laughs> it's not that good. Okay, so we're seeing a reoccurring uh, event uh, thing here. Let's go in for this chicken roll. I think it's best we just lady in the tramp this. So let's try it. All right. Uh, Stretch your uh, mouth out. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's fucking nasty. Why does it look like that? There's a lot. That's. I can't even eat it. It looks disgusting. It looks like a human brain. Show the inside. I don't even know what that is. How do you make that? I don't know. It's literally. <laughs> oh god, I'm transforming into a chicken. <laughs> it's literally just a bunch of chicken, but the outer rim is what's a little bit worrisome. It kind of reminds me of like a sausage outer ring. Like that's kind of what this is. It's like a sausage, but instead of like meat inside, it's chicken. That's really what this feels like to me. As you can see what I'm talking about with this layer that's on the outside. It's almost like an onion. That? I don't know. I really don't know. It it's like yeah, I think you're supposed to take this plastic No, I think off. it's edible. Or is that plastic? I think it's plastic. Try to eat it on its own. It tastes like plastic. I think you're supposed to take it off. No, okay, I just swallowed it. We're not gonna, I'm gonna die if that's the case. Tastes like bland chicken to me. It doesn't taste like anything special. But there is one more item that we, we you know, we bought separately because it looked cool. So let's go for our dim sum and uh, hopefully it'll be packing some. Okay. Nothing too special with this. But let's see, maybe it's tasty. It's pretty soft. It is pretty soft. Mmm. Mm. The, is, the actual good. muffin or whatever it is, the dim sum, the bread, the bun. sweet and tasty, man. It's like Hawaiian bread. And then there's like a beef brisket, mm -hmm. barbecue brisket inside, just gives a little sweet tangy. Mm-hmm. This is nice. This is good. This is probably the best thing we got out of this whole meal. Yeah, this was a dollar ninety nine. Wow. It's a steal for how good this is. Well, I guess it's time for our final thoughts. All in all, which supermarket takes the cake? Let's say it on three. One, two, three. Vallartas. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It did make my stomach gurgle a little bit, yeah. but that could have been just from all the fiber in those beans. Either way, the food just tasted homemade, like they, they were actually cooking it for you yeah. there and at that moment, which is why it took some time to come out. Yeah, I will say it will take a little bit longer. Like you are going there and you're buying it as if you're sitting at like a restaurant, a, a Mexican burrito taco stand. Exactly. You're gonna wait the 10, 11 minutes for it. But it's but definitely, it's worth, definitely it. worth it. A hundred know? times better than the American supermarket and a thousand times better than the Asian supermarket. Okay. Second question, second place. If you only had five minutes on a lunch break, which one would you go to? Because obviously the Mexican is right. out. You can't go there. You can't go there again. So no. I would probably say the second best is that American supermarket. Yeah. Only because the food I feel like had a little bit more flavor. When you go to that Asian supermarket, it almost felt like you were going to a glorified fast food um, Asian chain 
Yeah, and restaurant. also and also when you go to like a place like Amazon, they must have standards. Like once the food hits an hour, they need to throw it away right. and re put new stuff. While out the there. other guys, they just stir it around and make it all look yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's our thoughts. You guys decide which looked the best to you on camera. Let us know down below. And if you had to go 24 hours only eating a certain genre of food. Which would it be? Let us know and maybe you'll inspire the next video. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Pick up the merch, brennantaylor.com. Get like us, get fresh this season. Pick up the merch. We love you guys. Our social media links are down below. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. Peace. Peace.